morning, YouTube. Hello. Trev here, something or nothing. And Nathan, also nothing and something. Back out on Dartmoor. In us, bye. In us. Smeared and down quarry. And we're going to do a little circular walk uh, around this area, take, which takes us up to Ruse Tour, where we've done before when we've done the Merivale area, didn't we, Nathan? Yeah, yeah, so we're um, linking stuff up, you said. Yeah, it's just more 365, filling in some gaps. How did you come to the conclusion of this walk? Well, I messaged Max, who used to be beautiful Dartmoor. I don't think he puts videos up anymore. Infamous Dartmoor tour bagger. Knowledgeable, little Dartmoor know-it-all. We're sort of like getting a bit stuck on walks. He sent two or three that he suggested, and uh, we've put this one up. So thanks, Max, for your tip. Cheers for that, buddy. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we'll take you on the journey with us. Let's have a look at this beautiful view. I've got a views on it. Brent Tour over there. And then this valley, look at it, Nath. Handsome, this is Dartmoor. This is what we're doing here. And this little fella's with us. Moby's back with us, drinking old stagnant black water. Looking over this way now, just to the north. Looks like that's, I think that's Great Links, right up on the top there. Looks like a dinosaur spine or battleship. And if we go across, I'm pretty sure that that's Hair Tour on the horizon there, the point. So just down this side in front of it, just on the cusp of the Tavy Cleave, would be Jair Tour. So, back on Dartmoor after the Christmas break. Um, got a stiff back, pulled my back at work just before Christmas. I've had uh, muscular spasms for the last sort of two weeks. I haven't really gone out walking, haven't really done much. Uh, I got a book uh, that I can't remember the name of, but other than that, there was nothing more hiking or rambling orientated in the gifts this year, unlike Trevor. You might notice me new hat, but it's a light. That was a Christmas present from me mum. And then uh, the next day we went to visit my mum-in-law. Got another one. So I've got two of these, I'll keep them spare. Save me having to buy a battery when one runs out. And also look, puffer jacket. Trespass down jacket. Present from me wife, Donna. So uh, I've got a down jacket now. What we're trying to do now is find a tour called Furs Tour, which isn't on the OS maps but Max highlighted it in his route. His map that he sent us was a, a Google map, trying to translate that to the OS map. I wasn't having a lot of fun because the Google maps don't have a lot of information on them. So now we're looking around here. We don't know if this is... That is first, it's that there. Following the road along down the bottom to the stone wall. The stone wall is clearly marked. This is the road that we followed. Stone wall comes up north and then heads across to the east. That stone wall comes up, heads across to the east. But the stone wall dips down and around Ferris Tor. That stone wall comes up, dips in, and goes around this tour right in front of us. There's no other place there it could be. I think we're right on it. Providing, of course, I've translated them correctly from Google Map in the first place. Well, yeah, there is that. <laughs> So, this is what we believe to be Furs Tour, isn't it, Trev? Yeah, we believe so. Uh, it's quaint. Let's have a look at some Furs Tour names. So this is set tour, Naif. Another tour on our own. Another tour not on the OS map. What it makes me think, in the time we've been doing this, we've passed a lot of clusters of rocks like this that we haven't bothered to go and see. Yeah. That look like they could be tours. That are tours. On the OS map. Well, a lot of them are because Max does enjoy informing me that you've just walked straight past such and such a tour here. Yeah. So, yeah. So does this mean we've got to do it all we've again? We've got to do it all again. It gives us something to look forward to. Um, 
getting more into the photography. Hopefully gonna combine some of our hiking with the opportunity to be at the right places at the right time to take some beautiful shots. We've had the odd request here and there about potentially doing a uh, photography for beginners video, which, you know, is a great idea. I mean, I am a beginner myself. In my experience, there seem to be two types of videos. There seems to be, this is about the theory and about improving your photography. And this is about someone that just wants to hear about all the sort of techie, specky details of cameras and equipment. I mean, I'm watching these videos and you're hearing terms like chromatic aberration, focus breathing, and be like, well, what the hell does that mean? Is that important? You know, so maybe I'll try and take the camera out and do a specific beginner photography video. See what happens. So we're just at the crossway underneath White Tor. This here behind me is Stephen's grave. Another Dartmoor legend. George Stevens was a young man living in Peter Tavy. Mobo. He was driven to take his life by the unfaithfulness of the girl to whom he was betrothed. One version of the story elaborates by saying that he killed the girl with a poison apple and then ate the apple himself. Whatever the details, poor George, treated as a suicide, was buried in unconsecrated ground. And that's why his grave lies here outside of the village and marked with this stone bearing the letter S. At the moment of the burial, it said that a bit of linen flew off of a washing line and was never seen again. It doesn't say whose linen, it could be anyone's linen. Was it Stephen's linen? So anyway, Stephen's grave, there. Yeah. Bit of history with a bit about linen thrown in. I don't know where these things come from, but there you go. Some sort of pound here. It's got to be man-made, isn't it? This circular, double-skinned wall. Once upon a time, it was put there. But so far, Max, it's been a good little walk, thank you. Nice, interesting area. Again, an area we haven't seen, but we can still see plenty around us where we have been. It's not too challenging, but it's getting us a good exercise. So now we're just looking up to Little White Tour, I think it is. Then over to White Tor, then we've got to go down the valley, heading over then to Ruse Tor. This be you. Little White Tor. I think it's Ruse over there. And then behind that, it's pretty sure that's Great Staple. So that must be Cox Tor. Yeah, because we walked from one to the other, didn't we? We walked yeah. from Middle Staple over to Cox Tor, back to Great Staple, then over to Ruse Tor, and then down over to Great Mist. Yeah, we went, that's it. That yeah. was a hell of a, I nearly died heading up to Great Mist, and I, but we had big packs on, didn't we? we yeah, kits. that was a good day though, a good walk. If you're interested in that, that was one of the walks that I managed to copy up on our website. I'll put a link below. Is there a video so can, to it? There's a video, I'll put a link to that as well, but you can follow the route, is what I was getting at. So. Watch the video and see how many times we end up lost or in a bog and decide they don't want to do our route. <laughs> I've got the mockers on. Yeah, I finally followed suit, left my stove at home, and just. Trevor's totally right. Little thermos on a, on a day hike does the trick. No need, it? is there? No need. The student has become the master, is that what you're <laughs> It's each to your own, isn't it, with hiking? And well, it's your it? backpack, you put in it what you want, carry what you want. And I'm thinking of going back down the Tranger route. Gonna try that out and try actually cooking some meals. I saw someone cook a roast dinner on a tranger. A single tranger? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Did it's I give you a tranger? Food. You did, yeah. Yeah. One more coffee chocolate, we'll get back on board. Hopefully we can get up to Ruse Tour. There might be a reason Ruse Tour is not included on this walk. Bog. 
one way to find out. We've decided not to cut across here, we're just going to walk around this wall and then sort of make our way up over there from that side. Seems a lot of terrain to cover here, so hopefully it's dry, no bog. Bit of water, Yerma. Hope we don't come across too much water today because I couldn't find my gaiters this morning. I don't know where they were. This, isn't, this is man made, isn't it? This is like a waste. Is it a flag or something? There was some sort of thing on the map down here, wasn't there? Some sort of settlement. if it's going from grid to magnetic. Grid to mad ad. Grid to mag ad. We want to head up that way somewhere. It's one of them cans. Yeah. You see, look through me, there's a little tuft of grass in yeah. it. Yeah. If we want to head to that and then straight through it. I mentioned earlier about watching a video where someone cooked a dinner on a trangia. That was Trail Cook. It was a great little video. I'll put a link below to that video and that channel, so you should check that out as well. As you can see, quite clearly, or not clearly, as the case may be, we have stumbled across the cairns. Worth the effort, Nate? <laughs> no, not necessarily worth the effort, but could you imagine two years ago, us sitting at a stone wall, looking at the top of a hill, setting a bearing, and then just walk exactly onto that spot. We didn't get up here and search around for it and hunt for it. We just came straight over the top of it. That's... Progress. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's well, a progress, massive, as the massive British say. marked improvement in our ability to read maps. Don't get me wrong, we will still f*** it up on a regular <laughs> basis. That is if this is actually the cairn. Obviously, if we start walking that way in a minute, there's two obvious cairns over there. I'll be like... Ugh. So here we are, familiar turf again. This is Ruse Tour. Over there, it's Great Staple Tour. Great Staple isn't actually that far. I wonder if Nath will be up for walking over to there. That's thick ice. Oh, look at that. I was thinking about doing cocks. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that rumour. You will find it written in the public toilets. But I was thinking about doing Cox, thinking about doing Great Staple. So we do one or the other, yep. but I ain't doing both. All right, fair enough. Well, Great Staple's there, it's not very far, look. Yeah, let's do Great Staple then. What have we got here then, boy? This is my new panoramic head. The one that came with a tripod is crazy stiff. Now that's fine, but the problem is, his old muggings here decided it would be a great idea to put this boom on his tripod. But what that's done is pretty much rendered the previous panoramic head useless because it's always on an angle. But now... You've got a head for your head. I've got a specific head for your boom. For my booner. So do you have to do one at a time and yeah. then put them all together? Yeah. So what I do now is I work out where a third in from the right was and then come just past it again. And you put it together in the edit, do you? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see that. Good, uh, great staple, shall we?
Well, cheers, Ruse Tour. Thanks for having us. Cheers, I'm seeking. We're not good enough. I think so. It looks like it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Don't feel like getting up there today, Nate. No? I don't think my back's going to stick it, mate. <laughs> and there's middle staple. I'm not going to bother going there. I've done the great staples. Oh. Coming down now between Cox Tour, Ruse Tour, all of a sudden it just takes your breath away. It's a massive valley, isn't it? It's huge. You look at it, it's vast, it's beautiful. As always, this camera shop won't do it justice. So we're nearing the end of the journey today. Thank you, Max, for your recommendation here, your walk. Yep. Thoroughly enjoyed that. It's yeah. been good. Now, if you like rating things, what do you rate this walk? I'm gonna say, it's gonna a good seven and a half. Yeah, yeah. easy. Say yeah. seven and a half. It's a leisurely walk, but first I was looking at it and think, oh, we'd be lucky to get Ruse touring, but done great staple as well. If we'd have left an hour or so earlier, done more. We didn't, it's my fault. I we? was actually ready for a change when you turned Nath up. Nath was ready. <laughs> for a change. I forced him into a greasy spoon. I wouldn't exactly say my arm took much twisting, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, good breakfast. I wouldn't make the coffee. <laughs> This is Great Coombe Tour we're coming to, is it, Nate? Yeah, Great Coombe Tour. Great Coombe Tour. I've got a Great Coombe Tour on them. And there's a vehicle. Where we started the day up above. Walked in around there. Up there. Across. All the way over there. Up to White Tour. And that was just the morning. I don't know about you lot, but that's one of my favourite things when I go hiking. It's looking everywhere you've been. I do love Dartmoor. Fit for drinking or swimming. Was it raw then? I did enjoy that, yeah. It's proper, wasn't it? Yeah, it's out of the house. And uh, do you know what? I've taken a camera and being able to combine the two just really works, like, you know. Anyway, I digress. It was a good walk. Yeah. We went miles. Yeah, thanks for that, Max. Good recommendation. We altered it a bit, added some extra bits on there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. 2,000 yeah. subscribers. That's a lot. Yeah. And I don't know if you know, to celebrate 2,000 subscribers, we've been given the opportunity to offer you a 15% discount at outdoorsessentialsuk.com. There's a link below, have a look through that. Some really good gear on there, some really good blogs. For anyone who's interested in the outdoors, it's a great place to go. 
I think it's wonderful that um, so many people decided that our dribble is worth watching and uh, it's brilliant, it's quite humbling. Sorry, the other thing I feel is that my left arm is absolutely shattered. Come on in. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Done. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Like, comment, comment subscribe. subscribe. Arrivederci.